Hi, I'm Kim from Mosaic Tiles Australia. I wanted to show you a few little ideas we've been doing with our frogs, our new boards that we've got here. Um, just different ideas that you can do with the trees, whether you're a beginner or an intermediate. Um, I'll just show you how we've done our little tree on this one. You can either use um, bigger sheets of stained glass. This way you can get more of like the wood look. We've kind of gone for like a bamboo kind of a look there. So I'll just show you how we've cut that one. So if you do have a glass cutter and running pliers, this is a good technique. I'll show you another way you can do it without uh, the glass cutter. So I just want to get like a wavy pattern. So with this one, um, and as I said, if you've done glass before, you, you know how to hold your cutter and everything. So I wanted to start with um, a wavy line. So I'm just going through just to get a little bit of a curve in there. Use your running pliers. Line up your score. There. And that's going to be quite good. That's going to have a straight edge on this side, so that'll be nice for our, once you trim it off, it'll be nice to start off our tree branch down there. So we'll do a couple more and just be mindful these have a few little divots in them, so we'll just have to go a bit slower. So same thing again, just giving it a curve. So the idea is to do a couple of these. I just want to trim them up. I don't want to have them all long, so I'm just going to start by having a few different sort of sizes. Get rid of that sharp edge there. All right, so let's start our freestone off now. So put our straight edge along here. So the idea, we're just going to go up with our straight edge. Just in here, I want to give it a little bit of a dip in there. And the next piece that I'm going to put there, I'm just going to round it a little bit. So on one edge is going to be um, a dip in it, and this one's just going to be rounded, just so they slot in like that nicely, interlock into each other. Same thing again, we'll go for our straight edge one, trim it down a little bit. I'm going to give this one a bit of a curved edge in there. Round that one up. All the way up to here. And then we'll go to the ones that are uneven both sides. That's when you want to just kind of. Good thing about this, you can turn them around either way. So you just want to follow that nice flow. It's got a nice curve there. So we're going to leave that one there. Same thing again. Do your little, little dip cut in there. And I need to find another piece that's got like a little bit of a curve in there. So maybe that one there. And turn it around. That's perfect. So I'm going to just round those ones off. So all the way up. Once you've done, say, two rows in, I would start on the other side. Put a straight one here. Basically just do the same thing. So straight edge. Then you're going to slowly work in like that. So that's one way you can achieve like a, what we've done with our one. Um, if you don't have the glass cutter, you can use your round wheel cutters. So um, with these, this glass we've got here, you can buy it in sheets, which is easy to cut down into workable sizes with your cutters. So this is where you just get some smaller pieces. You can buy the bigger sheets, or we do have them in little containers already ready to go. So the other way is you can just do little strips like this here. So I'm just cutting them a little bit smaller and I'm just cutting it the way that the grain is of the glass so it does look like bark. So same thing again, just different sizes. And it's going to be kind of like what I've done with Mrs. Froggy. I've just used straight cuts on those and just piece them back together. To start off, uh, nice straight edges on the edge. And then just carry on up there. So that's for the tree trunk. A couple of different ideas. I mean, you can also just do a random background fill and then just piece them all back together. It's also quite a nice way as well. It all depends on sort of the look you want to go for. Yeah, if you want to do that sort of look, have it all little triangle pieces or just random shapes coming all the way up. Okay, so that's a couple of ideas for the tree branch. 
Um, now, Mr. Froggy, um, I've used a beautiful green stained glass in this one. We have two sorts, which is actually quite nice. We've got the forest green um, and a beautiful bit of iridescent green, which is really lovely. Just picks up, putting a little bit of that in there just gives it a nice shine. Same thing again, if you're not comfortable using your cutters to cut a big piece down, you can just use your smaller pieces. So with the frog, I've just roughly made just roughly different size circles for his, um, his belly. Um, and if you kind of pick out the dark and the lighter part of your glass when you've cut them down for those circles, you can kind of give different variations, which is quite a nice idea. So first of all, you want to just cut them into some roughly smaller pieces so you can do the circles. So just get them down to a workable size. I'm aiming for just some smaller squares. Uh, some bigger squares. So we're starting off with squares because what we're going to do is we're just going to take off every point. So you're not going to get a perfect circle, but it's just going to be a bit of a rough cut. But it's going to look nice when it's all put together. Make sure you have your safety glasses on, and also you can always cut into a plastic container that will stop all your pieces going everywhere. So same thing again, little piece. Just taking off those four corners so they're not perfect round circles which is what I don't want to have I want to have them a little bit regular just start piecing them back together like that smaller ones always good same thing again four corners so you're going to continue on filling in his, um, his tummy like that um, I've also just used a darker bit of green just to create his mouth here. So I've got all circles down here and then at the top I've just got random pieces, rectangles, square bits of glass, so that's just a matter of putting those, making them fit, trimming them to fit in to go up here. Some ideas, same with his arms. Uh, little toenails, I've just actually used some red glass and I've put a silver spray behind where you could paint them. Um, and same with the eyes, I've used transparent orange which is this one here. Um, bigger piece of glass, same thing again. I'm just going to get my belt. Let's get the little shape out of the way. Now I'm just gonna get down to a workable size. So I'm gonna cut that down. This is my cutters. And I can see the eye underneath, which is good. That's the um, beauty of having a transparent glass, but I am going to paint this. So the idea is you want to just get your circle shape. If you are going to cut it with your glass cutter, you remember you cannot cut a very, very sharp curve with your cutter. So you want to just do it in sections at a time. So I'm just going to start off around here. Running pies. And then a bit more around this way. So the idea is you're just doing a little bit at a time. And then if you have a grinder, you can usually just go and grind those little edges off. Otherwise, I'm going to use some nippers today just to pick away at those little bits that are sticking out. You better just take your time with this. They actually, they come out really nice. I mean, the grinders are great, but just a bit of practice using your nippers. Just ever so slightly just going around. Picking away. It's actually not a bad little circle. I've just rubbed his eye off, so that's... <laughs> put his eye back on and what I've done for the eye I've drawn on top of the glass I've turned it over and I've actually used a permanent black marker to draw his eye I've colored it in and I've let it dry and then I've painted over it with um, a silver spray or silver paint and that's how I've got that nice metallic look so once the eye is dry then you can paint it and that'll be the same for the toenail, just cutting little round circles out of your glass for your toenails. So that's how we've done him. Now, the leaves are always a little bit more of a challenge. Um, 
I find the leaves do look good in the bigger bits of stained glass, but you can create just smaller ones, as I said, with your glass pieces you have. Pick out the biggest piece you've got. So I'm gonna sort of go with this one. Um, if you can visualize a leaf on there, or by all means just draw the sort of the shape that you wanna have. Um, using the stained glass in these sizes, you're only gonna get smaller leaves, but you can have a lot of leaves, so it doesn't matter how, um, how big you're gonna have them. Um, same thing again, just get rid of all that excess. the shape um, go back to your nippers and just slowly just where you there's quite a sharp point there just soften it off with just slowly nipping away at it okay so that can be a leaf down here uh, the other thing is if you want to do bigger petals and you've got your glass cutting skills up to scratch make sure you get those little shards out of the way because they're the ones that are going to get in your hands um, so for leaf pattern all I've done is a couple of bigger leaves you can draw them on I've done a few leaves I pretty much can do them with my eyes closed now so that's sort of quite a nice shape leaf. then if you want to you can always run your cutter up the middle Gives it a nice shape. Keep them like that, but then swap them round. And that can kind of start to be a leaf coming out like that. Do different sized leaves. So I think that's Mr. Froggy. We've got a beautiful blue, uh, I think this one's called Indigo Blue. Indigo Blue stained glass, which I've used in the background. Um, same thing again, I've just chopped it up into all the regular sizes and then just pieced it back together and I've used a black grout. Uh, with Mrs. Croggy, same idea with the um, what we've done with the log. She's actually looking over the log, but he's looking around a tree. Um, just different ideas. I've just done like a, a mixed background of broken up stained glass. But for the water, I've just created, um, to get the sort of look, you wanted to start off having slivers. So we'll start off with a big piece of glass. This is a beautiful bit of glass. This is the actual color that I've used for the background. I think it's summer breeze, maybe. And same thing again, you can work with this size of glass. You don't need to have your oil filled cutter, okay? But it does come in small ones. So what I've started off doing is you wanna get down into workable sizes again. So that's just cutting off. So we've got some smaller pieces now that we can work with. So what you wanna do to get this sort of effect um, is Get some smaller ones. Cut them on an angle. So all you want to do is just slowly chip away. And you're going to get lots of odd shapes. So this is really quite good for um, water, feathers, anything like that. There. So just keep it going around. Just all random shapes. Another piece here. And that's what you want is all those irregular shapes. And then we've got a few different size tiles there. We've just filled in the background. So you just sort of basically, all you have to make sure is that you've got your, say if you want to have that going, then you need to make sure that that's cut the same size. So we might do this way here actually. So it fits in there nicely. That's our next one. around a bit so all those will just all interlock back in this one here I would just probably give that a straight cut there so you can get a straight a tidy one there so it just makes it a bit straighter what we've got now we've got this is a nice one same thing again I'm just gonna cut that off straight Just sort of go on your little curves that you've got. So that's what we've done up here. Um, same thing with her eyes, with Mr. Froggy's eyes. We've just painted those. 
um, and we've used some petals to create the flower. We have put a bit of thin set under them just to make them look a little bit more three dimensional. So um, we do have a video on doing our flowers with thin set, which you'll find on our YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, pretty much everything what we've done on here, same practice. You can cut these, pretend that they're leaves, but cut them into like a little um, little stem, little bud shape. Yeah. So I hope that's some ideas for you and um, give glass a go. It's lovely to use and the thing with this, uh, with any stained glass, it has a really nice um, different pigmentation so you're always going to get like a water effect or whether you want to have like leaves, you've got that nice variegation in the glass. Mm. Thank you.